Like cavity trays at DPC level, there's not a great deal online about this. And I don't 100% agree with the diagrams you get from like, you know, your NHPC standards and all that. So I'll show you how I do it and how I've been doing it for years. It's been okay by every single building inspector since. In fact, they prefer it, actually. I'll show you what I do. I think it's easier, but uh, judge for yourself, I guess. Everyone's different, and there's loads of ways of doing everything, so I don't want to start a war. I'm just showing you what I do. Some people do it on the first block, and they do it so any water comes down, but it comes out then at DPC level. And that's the bit I don't agree with, because if you imagine water does, not that it should, and to be honest, you've probably got bigger problems if that's happening. But if water should come down this cavity, the water would run down the cavity tray and sit at DPC level. So I argue that that actually breaches the DPC because if those holes ever get blocked or, you know, it doesn't drain properly, it's going to breach the damp proof and start soaking up your wall past your damp proof, if you see what I mean. So I always do it, the brick below. So this isn't damp proof course yet. The next course of brick is damp proof. So obviously you've got to put your course in blocks somewhere to get your 2.1 door height. So I just think, why not do it at the start? So I put my course in blocks on first. Then my damp tray now will go over here, down there, over my insulation, down the face of it, and then onto this course where I will put weep holes in. And then when I lay the next course up to DPC, I'll put a four inch, another four inch DPC on there. So what I just explained could happen, can't happen. And I know it's probably not a big deal or whatever, but it might cause problems, say, I don't know, for your render, if your bottom of your render is getting wet or whatever. I don't know. I just prefer doing it this way. And another thing is this first piece of insulation goes below your finished floor. So again, that's massively helping towards avoiding cold bridging 